Welcome everybody, welcome. My name is Dark Joker Cutem or the DJC and today we're getting back into Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, it's got episodes, so we're going to call this part. Or maybe I caught it episodes. Either way, we're going to get into the next part of this. Uh, we just left the, uh, we just left the club last night. Uh, I do want to check settings again. Make sure that, okay, the music is off. The reason why the music is off is because the first time I tried to do this, we were copyright strike, lost half of the every, yeah, we're not, I don't want to deal with that again. So we're going to add our own music post-production. Alright, uh, apparently we've done a lot of these that I don't remember doing, but alright, uh, we're going to continue where we were. And we'll see where we were here, I guess, in a second. Alright, we are where we're supposed to be. We are in the bedroom in the morning. We have to figure out what we're doing here and get dressed. We are checking out everything that we have, uh, that we've accomplished so far. Uh, we have made it. That's a great candle. I'm assuming that's a candle. It looks like a candle. Now, you guys are hearing some soft, mellow music. I am not. I hear nothing but birds chirping right now. And we're going to wake up from whatever we did the night before. A little sludge on the drooly. little drooly. Yeah, you might want to wipe that. We got the drool. All right. We are almost awake. We awake yet? No. No, we are not awake yet. I guess we're. I guess we're kind of awake. Yeah, we're awake. First thing in the morning, gotta grab that cigarette. You know. <laughs> or maybe you don't know. If you don't know, that's cool. I know. Yeah, there's there's no waking up without that first, the, without that first cigarette of the day. Now I'm not saying go ahead and smoke. You should definitely not smoke. But yes, this is episode one. I guess we did the prologue yesterday. We're gonna leave this real quick and we're gonna get into the the game here. Uh, you're still gonna hear some music in the background. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Yeah, I feel that. Daily rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Alright, we got a little bit of a, a little bit of a read here. Uh, Max uh, is uh, the main character in Life is Strange. The original. So we're gonna read this letter to Max. Hey loser, yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you weren't at firework last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. <laughs> it was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused the dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was awesome. I'm not yeah. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? F. Seattle? Yeah, F. Seattle. I agree with that. F. Seattle. 100%. Um, plus, I have a sweet black eye for souvenir. And NBD. But there were these two skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chloe is greater than Max. Alright, um... Oh, okay. So that was the the last one. So we have two other ones to read here. Uh, Dear Max, Dad got me this stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe... It's time to write Max. Funny thing is, I don't really know what to say, because we haven't talked in three months, despite all my calls and texts and 
Not that I'm super upset or anything. There's no way I'm sending this. Is there? Chloe the Unfriended? <laughs> Max. Now this is more like it. Here I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write back. Maybe one day when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll share this to you and I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe the Journal Boss. Put your thoughts in me. Max, uh, ready? So mom suggests taking a road trip next summer. I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David, the wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on mom and has stuck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from Planet Dips. That David. In a way, I politely suggest to mom that perhaps if it's too early, too soon, David would be in the picture by then. We're breathing. Hey, happens. Uh, as you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, and she's got serious self-esteem issues, and I've got serious self-immolation, look it up, nerd, plans. Uh, she can do better. That's all I meant. That she didn't want to hear it like I'm the bad guy. Chloe the bad guy. Max. So, you know, I stopped going to class so much, like you stopped talking to me so much. Funny story, I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the the dead dad girl. No one, no one knows what to do with me. So they're actually relieved when I stay home. At least I'd figure that out sooner. Uh, think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from the Blade Runner popped into my head the last time. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, we're not, no. No, ew, no. <clears throat> All right, so we have Chloe. Uh, my name is Chloe Price, but you can call me, I don't know, Little Finger, I guess. Man, there's a lot here. All right, so we're just going to, we're going to get back to Chloe here and just read it. Uh, I am an inmate at Blackwell Academy, currently serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. That would be my mom, Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me. Which I get it. I am no one's image of the perfect daughter or student or anything, really, but who wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by so-called perfection, and it sucks. Other things that suck, mom's new drill sergeant boyfriend, David. How hard it is to buy smoke around here, having no friends, hypocrites, country music, and people who say chillax. Dad being dead. Uh, it's been two years since he died in a car crash, and I still think about him all the time. I've even been having these weirdly lifelike dreams. Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something. Other times I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now, and <laughs> anything else is just a fairy tale to make myself feel better. At least I have two weapons to help me survive this town. The pen I use to tag any and everything I want, and my shining personality. If I work at it, maybe I can even leave this place just a little less perfect than when I found it. Uh, I think that's... Yeah, it, it just goes through everyone. Alright. Uh, for a dealer... Frank Bowers is actually pretty chill. He likes to act like he's a tough guy, and I have no doubt that he's done some, a few messed up things over the years, but to me, he's like a scruffy dog. The tougher he tries to come off, the cuter he seems. I've been buying smoke from Frank for close to a year. I almost never have enough money to pay him, and he always tells me, It's the last time, Chloe. I'm not your friend. Then he always gives it to me anyway. Like I said, guy's adorable. Of course, if I ever did anything to actually get on Frank's bad side, he might not seem so cuddly anymore. I hear Frank rolls with some dudes who are into way darker stuff than keeping high schoolers medicated. It's hard to imagine Frank getting mixed up in anything really bad, but I guess you never know. 
For now, I'll just keep hoping that Frank is even worse at remembering who owes him money than he is at being intimidating. Despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know stuff's been rough since Dad passed. Uh, money's tight. Her job as a waitress at the diner isn't exactly glamorous. And I'm clearly not at all about the whole going to school thing. But why does she have to make things so much harder on both of us? She acts like if I smoke or when I skip out and go catch an awesome show, it's somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicated and not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when Dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately, there's a hairy monster she let into the house, and that's messing up everything. Uh, Dave Madsen, a jobless, brainless, little hard-on for the military and a promise to whip me into shape, butthole. I tried to express these concerns to my mom, yet every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of my life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is some kind of disease that kills its host. Matt Caulfield, MIA, ex-best friend extraordinaire. This artsy uh, chick loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? Um, when we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and saved people and stuff. Uh, when my dad died and her dad got some job up north, she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. Uh, the worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though we, even though she habitually ignored my text so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she doesn't care about me anymore and that she probably has new friends up in Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, Hey, Chloe, want to dress up as pirates and be stupid together? I would take her back in a heartbeat. Lob dob. In a heartbeat. Uh, if I had a nickel <clears throat> for every dumb guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write about Dad over the last couple of years, I would have... Uh, I wouldn't have to buy... I, I could pay Frank back. <clears throat> What's the matter? Don't you want to write... Your dear old dad. I guess uh, they think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever, as if a few paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered on the underside of a semi truck. Ew. And what am I supposed to write anyway? Uh, that he was the perfect dad who was always fun to be around and never angry, that he treated me like an equal, that he was constantly working to make our lives better, that he could always make me laugh even when I was being a punk uh, that he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy and that his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me just to pretend neither of us notices it if that's coping then coping can go away then we're back to ourself there um, we have four, five, six characters so far. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. The eye, and we haven't done anything else yet. Uh, and this is... Oh. A name. We have a name. Alright. So there's that. Let's go take a look at our photo over here. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise, right? So that's Dad and Max and, you know, when things were fun. Swelling! Wakey, wakey, aching, baking. Oh, Lord. Last night, seeing Firewalk live, the skeevy assholes... That girl 
Was that really Rachel Amber? You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Our block wall can be Warren Graham, Chloe Price, Hayden Jones, Zachary Riggins, Trevor Yard, Logan Robertson, Alyssa Anderson, Justin Williams, Elliot Ipton, Dana Ward, Evan Harris, Della Hill, Burke Scott, Julia Watson, Victoria Chase, Nathan Prescott, Taylor Christensen, and Rachel Amber. Very cool. Uh, One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Dear Miss Arcadia, did you hear about Firewall coming to town? I checked the local venues, but nobody knows anything, Sergio. Not at all. The local venue is apparently a dead fan. Uh, I don't know about bumping the, the thread, Rand. Okay, gents, here's the scoop. It's a private party. Not as in you're not invited, more like you're better off staying away. And I know that just made some of you, uh, some of you more into it than ever. So proceed with your own risk, abandon all hope. All you who enter ever heard of the mill, Miss Arcadia. Thanks, Scourge. Oh crap! If you go, don't look anybody in the eyes. If you look anybody in the eyes, don't look away. If you look away, why would you start listening to my advice now, Rand? Ha! <laughs> look at my eyes. My eyes are really a great movie, the Doctor. What are you talking about, Firewalk Forever? Not of this earth, only the original, though, the Doctor. Oh, I see. What's the mill, Firewalk Forever? That's adorable, dead fan. Previous topic, Prescott's and the Illuminati. Next topic, Haiti Earthquake Relief Fundraiser. Wait, what? Who? What photo? Uh, to Chloe Price, subject Victoria Chase commented on a photo you're tagged in. To view photo, make sure you check the following link. HTTP.backslash.backslash.notface.strange.slash.kj3xk9? Um, equal latest comment. I don't know if that still works as a website to go and check out. Um, if it does, you can I check have it feelings out. about this. Rut Most row. of them are not good feelings. Uh, Rachel Firework, Trevor Jellis, Victoria, you look hot. Who's the arm candy? Armand, Deborah, something. Deborah Brogan, I think. Taylor, so fun. Kisses. Dana, glam. Get a girl. Trevor, who's Deborah Brogan? Uh, um, with Rachel in the picture. Uh, Rach, you're so gorgeous. I hate you. Victoria, and who's Armand? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Taylor, wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Steph Byrne. Oh no, I didn't mean it like that. So much fun. This is really intelligent conversation. Alright, well that's that. Um, let's not go over there yet. Oh look. A hole to another universe. So, um, let's look at the photo. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. The glowy bear. Uh, let's check out the faint. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. I don't want to tear it down. We're going to leave it up. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. You're not a shark baby. Let's open the drawer and see what's in there. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. <laughs> that's terrible. Pirate power. I'll open this one too, see what's in here. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Sounds awesome. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Ha ha. Only you could get me to loosen up like that. Happy two month anniversary, Elliot. All right, we already read that. Hmm. 
Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. Sounds very hard to pronounce, so. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Um, not wrong. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? We're gonna look at the pirate hat first. I bet Long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. She is. Let's go get dressed. I really. Yeah, let's see what else is in there. Illuminati, hot dog man, punk dough. Oh, let's try back and let's see what's over here. Bird skull. What does this look like? I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. What's going on, Case? That looks a lot like what we were wearing yesterday. They're probably not going to wear that one. about the tank tops. No, no, we're gonna check everything out. We got time. I mean that shirt's stolen, so I don't know if you want to wear that. Let's let's do the bird skull. It, it, it's, you know, I don't know. We'll do the bird skull. I like the bird skull.
Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this. No, why did... Yeah, that'll work. I really should get going. Well, we should. King was swinging super hard though. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. They, I mean, it's it's swinging. <laughs> um. That's a little better. A little less swing. Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Probably not good that you were drinking. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Yeah, it's probably not good to, you know, okay. to do that. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. I mean... You, you can dye your hair gray. I don't think anyone's really gonna... I mean, that is kind of not an issue. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Well, I would disagree, but... Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Look. It's not easy raising kids, bruh. <laughs> Can't believe I used to sneak in there for her makeup. Oh, okay. So the phone's not in there? I figured that's where the phone would have been. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. It probably hurts her. I don't, I put, put it on the dresser, but it'll be fine. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. I mean, I would fully understand if I was seeing someone whose partner had passed and they kept their pictures. That wouldn't bother me. You know, I, I just. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. Oh, that's cool. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us would be more embarrassed. Uh, let's open the drawer, see what's in there before I grab this phone. Ah, mom. Uh, close the drawer, close the drawer. Call our phone here real quick and see what we can get going. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? He, look, if he's ex-military, he's not a bad guy. He's just, he's got his ways, man. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. No, I'm Maybe not. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye oh, my hair gray. Oh, there it is. There we go. 
Wonder how many calls I've missed. All right, we have one new message from Elliot and one new message from Mom. Let's read Elliot's message first. Oh, we have a whole conversation. All right, let's read this. Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw. Lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Cool. What are you up to? Not much. Got stuff to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the chem homework? Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. That's yeah, Typical. Typical. <laughs> Alright, let's see what mom says. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Uh, let's go and see what Frank the Tank is talking about. Dude, your stuff's here. Heck yeah. But tapped out. Sorry. <laughs> your loss. Hey, can you hold it for me a day? Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe me. You gonna have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you deal, you deal on this phone? Anyway, come on, it's 420. <laughs> I'll meet you if you have the cash. Uh, rain check. Max. All right, this is me. I'm so sorry. I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Oh, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future? Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. 7 p.m. on Arcadia Bay. What is it? 2019 in Seattle? <laughs> I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure. Anytime. Let me know. Yo, Queen of Crickets. What's the latest? Max. Wow. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah, you did, and we're going to grab it, and we're going to take it down to her. Oh, and can you grab my cell phone, too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Oh, yeah. boy. That really makes me want to hurry. Yeah, maybe I should just stay up here a little longer and... Coming, oh. Mom. So I have to hit X to go down the steps? I couldn't just walk down there myself? <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's okay. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. I might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Yeah, dining table, here we come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Yeah, but... Okay, look, I'm very pro-military. I always have And when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted, it's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so... And now they're dead. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? I don't think, well, maybe. I don't know who knows. Family pick used to hang here. I, wow. I can't actually remember which one. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> And never looked back. He said, "Read." Oh, what am I reading? Too glad you left for Seattle, Max. Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia, and, and her first back. mate, Long Max Silver. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is Mom having trouble with payments again? 
My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Yeah, but he's trying. Maybe he's not trying. I don't know what he's doing, okay? I can't say that he's trying or not. That would be me making an assumption that I don't know about. Shoot. I was hoping David could get a job on a container ship. To Japan. Shipyard closing. Uh, though real estate developer Sean Prescott promised the employee layoffs would be minimal, he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he will be ending operations effective immediately. And they move not surprising to longtime residents of the region. The Prescott Foundation also liquidated Arcadia Bay's Steve Doors Association defined pension plan. Um, Michelle Kinsey Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the actions as you're right in recouping unrecovered losses against debts owed. Prescott could not be reached for why comment. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? <coughs> a wildfire warning has been issued for all residents of Arcadia Bay. Fines doubled for illegal fireworks and campfires in unauthorized areas. This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Wow. So let me be able to, uh, this is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academies of similar, similar cal caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their vacation homes. Wells further emphasizes that in addition to merit-based tuition awards, this year won by sophomore Stell Hill and Brooke Scott, the school's program of need-based scholarships remains in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. That don't sound good at all. Sounds like we are not going to be having fun here. Just put the purse there. I don't need to look at the table. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Why would you hate pot roast? Who hates pot roast? Joyce Price, AKA mom. She looks as beat as I feel. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Facts. Hey mom, you wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. Hmm. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. 
You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad. Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such- What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. So bringing David very his keys hard is family about dynamic they have. It's the thing mom could ask me to do. Maybe you should just do it and see where it goes. Maybe you guys should just have a conversation and see what, whoops, and see what happens. Where is the ashtray? So collect collected from the ashtray. I don't know where the ashtray is. Is that the ashtray? Oh, there's the ashtray. Here they are. Yep, there they are. Grab those keys.
Let's get these to David so he can drive away. U.S. Army, this we'll defend. Established 1775. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. Got a message from Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey, I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. So that would put stuff down there, and it's just that. Okay. And I think right here is going to be a good place to save. Or maybe we can't. Maybe we have to go through the door. Let's look out the window first. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. No, I guess we'll hurry up and we'll open the door. That way we're at a save point. Yep. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? Hey, yo, what? Hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Okay, this is where we're going to end it. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Yeah, this is where we're going to end it. We'll pick it up right here um, next Tuesday. i got to work on the music here, so editing. This might be out a little later this evening. I will see you guys then. Until next time, Wolves. Oh, double upload today. I'm going to try to get a little bit of uh, Radley's Drowning Stars 3 out there. At least that boss battle. I want to get the boss battle out there. Uh, we'll get that done today, too. All right, Wolves. I'll see you guys in the next one.